Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic, quarter over quarter change or year over year change, was submitted by a viewer. So what I've got here is I've got the Superstore data. I've got order date by quarter across the top and I have sales. And what I'm going to start of is trying to get the previous quarter sales. So I'll come over to the measures and I'll pull over sales and drop that on text. And you'll notice that it doesn't drop and that's because it's already there. So what you have to do is come here to the drop down and we're going to use a table, quick table calculation. And all we're going to do here is select difference. Okay? And that's going to give us the difference between from the previous value. So I'm going to bring sales over and now it'll let me drop it in. And so now you've got, oh dear. So you, now you see the difference between the sales from year, from quarter to quarter. All right, so if you want percent change, and actually here's a little trick. If you come over here and you edit in shelf, it'll give you what that formula is. And so if you copy that formula, let's make sure I get the whole thing. And we create a new... We'll just call this and look at this uh, and the function that's really being used here is this lookup function and what it's doing is it's saying okay take we're going to look up the ZN is just changing anything that's a null to a zero so we're going to look up the we're going to go back one row, or one column, sorry, go back one column and get the sum of sales. And so this is saying, take the current value sum of sales, in this case 143, go back one column and subtract that value. So you're taking the 86 minus the 143 to get to the 57. It's that simple. Okay? And so now, what we want to do, I'm going to duplicate that for just a second. And so now, we're going to keep that there, because you can come down here, and you can select percent difference as well. And I'm actually going to get rid of this one. And then I'm just going to drag that over. And now it's going to be, you'll see that it pops up, and I can just say uh, percent change from previous quarter and now I can br bring over the previous quarter value oh change from previous quarter just drop that in there oh we need to drop that on the text and now we've ordered around we've got the change and then the percent change all right now the thing maybe we want to see what the change is from the previous year. Let's just come here. We're going to total using, oh, because it's already a calculated field, let's come under sales, come down to quick table calculation, and you'll notice that there's a year over year growth, but it's grayed out. And the reason is because we don't have year identified. Remember, those are values are just previous uh, column. And so what we need to do is we need to bring in the order date. I'm going to just drop this up here as year. And now, come down here, quick table calculation, and now the year-over-year -year growth is available. All right, so we've got that. We're going to bring the sales back up. And now we have year-over-year year growth. See, we don't have anything for this first year, so it can only be growth from the previous year. Now let's do this. Let's go here and look at what that formula is. You can see already that there's a lookup function. Come over here. We're going to do a calculated field.
Now look what you see here. It looks very similar to what you would expect. Let's see here, percent from previous quarter. It looks very similar, right? Now we're going to go here. We're going to edit the table calculation. You can't see it over here. And this is the difference. Under the specific calculation, it is calculating off of the previous. It's using both of these. It's using the year of order date. Now, another way to do this, we'll just calculate um, change from previous year. We're going to duplicate this. And the, another way that we can do this, instead of doing it, if we have all of the values here, we can do it by quarter. I mean by four. All right. So let's bring in the previous change from previous year. Oh, rats. Change from previous quarter will change this to previous year. I know we got a lot of things in here. And so now this is looking at four columns over four quarters. This is a subtotal. One, two, three, four. So you're looking at this 54. I'm going to turn this off for a second. So you're looking at the 54, 448, comparing it to the 68, 852. Same thing here. You're going from 86 to here. Because if you remember what we just did, this is going back four columns. And so now, if you wanted to get rid of the order date, the mid showing is red because it's referencing the year of the order date, which is no longer there. Go to the edit table calculations, you'll see it's red, it's no longer there. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and just remove that, and now you still got the same data. And then if you wanted to change that to a percentage, you could just follow the same logic from the uh, change from previous quarter. All right, so this is how it looks on a table. Let's create a chart and start by bringing over the order date. I'm going to change this to quarter because tables are nice, but I also like to see charts, all right? And so maybe you'd like to see charts to go up and down here along the bottom of the difference. So we will do We'll now bring over here, change from previous quarter, and drop that on the rows. And I want to change this to bars, just to give it a little bit of difference. And then we'll just do a dual axis and synchronize the axes. And actually, I don't like that color. Actually, I'd make the line blue and the color orange. Let's do that to make that orange, make the sales blue. Okay. And then if you really want to get fancy, you can come in here and say if the change is positive. Well, let's just do that real quick, just so you know. Change color. If uh, change from previous quarter is greater than zero, then green. Sorry, my I don't know why it does that all screwed up. Red. All right, we'll hit OK. So now we've got a change color over here. Nope, it's actually under the measures. Change color, drop that onto the... We want that to be under the change down here. And then we just come in here and fix that up. So we'll make green, green, red, red. And now you've got a chart that identifies the pluses and minuses. You'll notice down here in the lower right hand corner there is one null and that's because the first quarter doesn't have anything to compare it against. So you can just come over here and hide the indicator. If you click on it, it gives you the option to filter everything out. But there you go. That's how you deal with change over uh, quarters or change over years.
hope you, hope you keep the ideas coming and subscribe. Love to hear from you.